So I would like to now proceed with the webinar. So hello everyone. I am uh, Devyan Shanurathi, advocate. I would like to welcome you all on behalf of LatestLaws.com to today's webinar. Today, today's webinar in our web, uh, in our webinar series, we have brought to you talks about uh, legal topics of your interest. Uh, in, so today we are privileged to have with us senior advocate Manan Kumar Mishra, Chairman Bar Council of India, Sri Sanjay Rathi, Co-Chairman Bar Council of Delhi, and who is who was also former additional advocate general for Haryana in Supreme Court. It is a privilege to help have you have you with have you with the. We are very grateful to both of you for sparing time to join us for this webinar. As we are all aware that judiciary and our courts are in lockdown conditions since March 2020. Our law schools similarly are also closed down due to ongoing coronavirus pandemic. There are mentions which have been uh, put forward by members from legal fraternity, by judges as well, from the law students who are facing issues with their exams and online classes. So in order to address them, all those issues, today we will be discussing future of legal profession and education and post lockdown. As uh, due to overwhelming response, we had to close the registrations. The webinar is being telecasted live on latest our Facebook page as well. I would like to welcome our attendees joining through Facebook Live. Uh, as we are in the trying to fix Manan sir's uh, video, I'm, I'm just checking the whether he is available. Uh, we'll, he'll be joining us shortly. I would like to proceed uh, with uh, Sanjay sir and ask him well, how the Bar Council of Delhi has been dealing with uh, the coronavirus lockdown and what measures they have already taken and what measures they will be taking in the future in uh, with a view to maintain uh, to curb coronavirus spread in the court premises and how to uh, minimize the impact of coronavirus in the court courts after the lockdown and also share some suggestions what uh, what practice that may be adopted by the law schools in the future post lockdown sanjay sir over to you Good evening, everyone. And uh, the topic which has been provided on this webinar, it is very good for this legal fraternity. And the query has raised by Divyang Sanu that what measures are being taken by the State Bar Council? I may like to give the basic information that being the member of Delhi State Bar Council, and I am there as a co-chairman, from the day one, the Bar Council is looking after the interest of all the brothers, advocate and sisters, advocate. Since inception, first of all, it was provided that at initial point of time, who are the needy advocates, who could not perform their work, at first instance, the financial assistance has been provided to near about more than 5,500 advocates. And still, again, we are in process to give more financial assistance as the matter is being discussed internally within the Bar Council of Delhi. Now, in order to have the practice and Courts at Delhi, repeatedly the advisories and the solution how the work would be started has been provided, has been written to the Chief Justice, Delhi High Court, and we have provided near about 25 points to the Chief Justice, Delhi High Court, so that those aspects would, would be considered. Now, in case. order to have a normalcy for functioning of the courts when the work has started during the lockdown period or what precautions are to be taken after this lockdown is over. So some of the few or most important points which we have suggested to the comment authorities, which we have suggested to the Honorable Chief Justice Delhi High Court, it has been returned to the Chief Justice Honorable Chief Justice of India also, that some measures are to be taken very soon so that the persons who are coming in the court 
the advocates who would come in the court, they could be saved from this virus which is being prevailing in the present time. Sanitization, tunnels, we have suggested that those may be done. We have also asked by way of representation that in the present scenario, we have to use the technologies which are available so that there may not be any hurdle in proceeding with the cases like the cases which have attained their stages of final hearing or other cases those can be categorized with the help of discussing with these bar associations discussing with the members of the state bar councils discussing with the body bar council of india that how and in which manner these pending cases could be decided so by using this e court system although there is a challenge before the society there is a challenge before the legal fraternity also that each advocate might not be having this facility with him or if he is having facility then he is not used to with that system so in order to have that facility there are number of aspects which we have to do honestly each institution has to do honestly by providing their own person with dedication so apart from that the government authorities has, have also to come forward with special budgets that for scanning the files they should provide the infrastructure to that effect they should also provide the wifi connection the web websites with so strong connections so that those could prevail during the courses of those hearings so looking at the problem in delhi and all over the country so it can be started with joining hands to have that all these scanning could be done from we could start from one court so that each could be done within a month within two months and by that time it is also our responsibility and manan sir is also i have also joined we would also request that during this period when the courts are being the files are being scanned or the process is being started we can also provide legal education in connection to the how to be well versed with the system how to use the system how to come forward with this system so there are number of ideas which we have already formulated we have already suggested to the respective authorities and we shall keep on giving our suggestions to the respective authorities after receiving from our members from the bars members from the other sections so that all could be pipeline for a proper functioning so manan mishra sir is here on the line Mr. Devyans, sir, may welcome. Hello. 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 Uh, hello, sir. Yeah, hello. we can hear you, sir. Yeah. So yes, sir. You are audible. Yeah. Good evening, sir. We would like to welcome. Uh, initially, there was some technical glitch. We would like to apologize for that. Uh, so. i would like to introduce although he doesn't doesn't uh, need some any any introduction but uh, for the benefit of our audience uh, manan mishra sir is a senior advocate practicing in supreme court of india he is also chairman bar council of india so i would now like to ask uh, mishra sir to share his thoughts on how bar council of india is looking into current lockdown situation and relating to issues pertaining to legal profession and education and how does bci plan to proceed after lockdown is lifted please uh, manan sir please see there are two aspects uh this legal education and legal profession both are suffering a lot like all other fields all other walks of life these two fields are also suffering a lot the legal education of the institutions are closed the training programs the internships everything is suffering though although we have already issued clear direction is uh, strong directions to all the institutions of legal education to impart the legal education during this lockdown period through online education 
and uh, uh, as per our report about 80% institutions are doing it see after 2008 we we introduced this computer education also as one of the subject in the law course therefore uh, practically and uh, as per our imagination every every institution and every student today he should be well versed with the uh, know how of the this the computer and uh, he should be computer friendly therefore but it this this system cannot continue for longer after lockdown uh, we cannot depend on this uh, online uh, education so far the field of education is concerned profession my friend mr uh, uh, sanjay has already explained and i agree with him that profession is also suffering a lot it is because of lack of infrastructure at all levels you know particularly see the 80% more than 80% litigants they are dependent on the lower and civil courts you know lower courts neither the courts nor their lawyers are well equipped with the system with the know how of the computer if filings are not possible there the hearings through video conferencing are not at all possible the examination or cross examination of the witnesses that is almost impossible therefore so far lockdown period is concerned the high courts and the honorable supreme court they are dealing with only important matters that is only feasible at the this time but i hope i have also made a request to honorable the chief justice of india that uh, if the lockdown continues for longer then in that case some sort of measure is to be carved out is to be chalked out so that maintaining the social distance and uh taking all precautions the 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 legal practice can go on the work of this judicial work may not suffer for longer that is yes, our sir, request um, to the honorable chief justice of india now let us see what happens after 3rd of may yes sir uh, we have uh, had, uh, i had gone through your uh, letter that you had addressed to uh, chief justice of india so what my concern is uh, that although after lockdown maybe the lockdown might not continue after 3rd may but what we will be returning back to would be a new normal we can't open the cafeterias in courts we can't allow all the clients five clients appearing from one party and five clients appearing from the other party to congregate in a court and and also we cannot allow 20 to 20 20 advocates sitting on the so close to each other uh just like after uh, 3rd may so and also uh, the issue we have is that our courts are not designed in such a way that they have only one entry and one exit point so there are multiple entry multiple exit points so we need so so uh, what would be your suggestion how to minimize the number of people in court premises See, to control this spread most of, most of the government offices are working right so it has the cases very limited case cases will have to be listed a time will have to be fixed that serial number so such and such to serial number 1 to 10 between 1030 to 1045 the entry should be limited the the only those lawyers should be allowed to go only one junior advocate with a senior should be allowed to go that is the or or some some other lawyer assisting him so these precautions will have to be made and uh, i think that if we do it scientifically uh, scientifically we can do it sir uh, can this uh, how can the help of uh, technology can be taken like just after third may for one month or two month how can uh, the technology assist the lawyers in or the clients in uh, working of the courts how do you how do you see the future at least we can just we see in uh, in metropolitan areas can a master project be started or something like that See this so far. This are you asking me? Yes, 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 sir. To you. 
no see just see the difficulties the technical difficulties we cannot overlook just in connecting you we had to we had taken at about half an hour right sir just remember so yes sir our our technology has not so developed it right, will take sir. time definitely and, uh, and not only that you cannot uh, uh, ignore the fact that so many senior advocates very efficient lawyers very knowledgeable persons even they are not so computer friendly that is hmm. the case with the judges also right sir so initially when the computer was uh, actually invented it was to act as a clerk now right. we have started treating as a master right sir and that is the problem with us hmm. this is not the case with all the developed countries in none of the other developed countries like usa or uk they have ever thought of giving a complete go by to the, the hearings in the courts and uh, the arguments made in the courts this right. can be a temporary measure only the computer hmm. uh, actually system and this online hearings video conferences these all can be temporary measures only the 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 value of arguments in the courts the the examination and cross examination of the witnesses their gesture posture is being watched by the courts and that is the uh, one of the most most important factor to be decided uh, uh, by the court particularly in criminal or civil cases both right. so uh, these 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 technological uh, all the systems they can be only temporary measures they cannot be permanent Manu sir, uh, my next question is that, uh, like you talked about that the difficulty we lawyers have or uh, as uh, law students or even judges might have in operating the technology. So, so I want to suggest uh, as a question whether Bar Council can do some online training. It can have Bar Council have uh, its own YouTube channel. Those lawyers who have connected through mobile at least have their uh, YouTube, YouTube auto downloaded on their mobile app. So Bar Council can just have a Two minute, three bar minute, or five minute video. Bar, bar, uh, bar video council, explaining the explaining the conferencing system in the courts and. Uh, bar council is seriously thinking to uh, actually do it. Uh, if uh, we are just waiting on for third May, uh, if uh, lockdown uh, continues even after third day, third of May, then uh, we will do something. Yes, sir. Uh, now moving on to sir uh, legal education aspect, Manan sir. So since most of the universities have been closed since starting of the May March and uh, still are closed and we don't know when the full the law colleges and the national law universities might open. So so what uh, would be your suggestion that how can this uh, assessment be taken undertaken or can there be a, any multiple option of like uh, research essays or something which can uh, substitute the regular exam. See, like we, we have some, we, some, yeah. some tutorials, extra classes, we will issue directions. But already we have issued direction so far legal education is concerned to all the institutions imparting legal education. Yes. Sir. But but if, if some institutions have not been able to do it, then mm -hmm. we'll grant some period and uh, 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 We'll ask them to do some tutorial classes, extra classes, in order to actually. Uh, uh, yeah, up the, now, up the law. Okay. Uh, sir, the main issue which comes after the classes is the assessment. How to assess? Like there are many final year students who might be going for foreign education, so their uh, academic year is getting dragged in between. So, can we substitute any uh, the? Conventional exams with any essays and UGC, something. UGC, yesterday we saw that UGC has already given six months extension for for so many uh, actually exams and all that. Yes, so we, we, we'll, we'll, be, uh, uh, we'll also abide by the uh, decisions of UGC. We'll also have to extend the period of exams and all that. Okay, sir. Now my uh, next question uh, pertains to uh, pertains to uh, legal uh, legalization for lawyers. So, 
I want to ask that whether we can have uh, after a law student comes out from the law school joins the bar. So can we have a certain the learning obviously happens in the court, but apart from that, can there be a continuous legal education system for the young lawyers and they can get some points or something like that for every year? The bar council can recognize these courses to maintain their quality and price, something like that. Continuous legal education that is a part of our our rule. and most of the state bar councils and this bar council of india also from time to time we hold the training programs for the young lawyers <clears throat> moreover uh, uh, bar council of india has been under undertaking it at least twice in a month either at delhi or some other state capital but we have now uh, uh, talked out a, a scheme so that even at the this district and taluka level also once in a month uh, mm. the lawyers could be trained and we are going to make this training program compulsory for the lawyers at least for 15 days in a year unless a lawyer that completes that training course for 15 days in a year every 5 years we will be checking that and uh, after uh, after 5 years if we find that he has not done it then uh, his his uh, uh, certificate of practice will not be renewed that that is scheme we are we are going very soon we are going to introduce that that's a really uh, a great initiative sir in the lines of what has been uh, implemented in countries like singapore or the foreign countries where they have uh, cpd points and everything for the lawyers who have passed the bar and uh, they have to attain certain number of points in every year so as to Show credibility as a lawyer, sir. My uh, next question is that uh, what uh, what would be what what do we see as a future like for artificial intelligence? There has been uh, initiatives taken by Supreme Court and uh, the other high courts are also in taking use of artificial intelligence in and also uh, virtual hearings. What the art like arbitration also forms part of legal profession. that have been that is taking place through virtual hearings and mediation there is another aspect mediation which has been taking place through uh, digital hearing so can the high courts uh, start with the, at least digital hearing where they have uh, the centers of digital like to engage the clients and uh, mediators so can mediation at least start uh, in the meantime see you if you have gone through my letter to chief justice of india you might be aware of what is the opinion of bar council of india on that score therefore mm. I, i i would like to uh, again repeat the same thing uh, virtual hearing we are opposing but mm. we are going to tolerate it and we have allowed it only till this lockdown period whether yes, it is arbitration whether it is mediation or whether it, whether it is other so, uh, types of litigation we are we are not in favor of this virtual hearing for all times to come yes sir that's uh, that's right the virtual hearings uh, probably cannot replace the the open court hearings but yes. in the meantime till this corona virus care is there i i, I must think that uh, this virtual hearings are uh, might be the norm till this corona virus care is i would like to now bring in sanjay sir uh, sanjay sir uh, Is it, can you hear me? Yes, yes, please. Uh, Sanjay sir, uh, what is the position uh, in Delhi uh, with respect to digitization and how are the courts, uh, bar courts, Delhi dealing with it? As I had earlier told, we had already returned to the Chief Justice Delhi High Court to formulate the guidelines in order to do the proper functioning for starting the courts. and if this lockdown period is continued then also we have written that how the situation is to be dealt with we mm. have given near about 25 points that if few of the matters could be categorized after having the consent from the councils after seeing the position at the stage of the case so we have stated that few of the cases which have ripened in their situation which are ready for final argument those files could be taken out those can be scanned those can be cds and all everything can be provided to the consul and after giving 
proper time to both side the party the councils can be asked for the written submissions or a open hearing may be given to them so for that what we have suggested that it would be proper in the present circumstances that the glass shield courts may be created the glass shield courts and only uh, not so many matters but we can fix 5 to 10 matters daily in a court which can after a, when a matter is over those glass cabins can be sanitized and the other counsel can be called so four to five or up to 10 cases daily can be decided by way of providing the glass shield courts so time manner is also required to be fixed and in some of the cases which like recovery cases are there those can be deferred or if those can be entertained by way of calling upon the written submission and all that so cases like 138 which much amount is not involved in those cases written submissions are can be asked from the council and if personal hearing is required i have a instance to share on this webinar that how a personal hearing as stated by chairman sir is more mandatory to have an effective hearing in one of the batch matters in punjab and haryana high court land acquisition matters were being heard by the bench headed by honorable mr justice kair and those land acquisition batch matters were being argued by retired justice un bachawat so he was paralytic he sought permission from the honorable court that he want to argue while sitting although the permission was granted by the uh, bench but simultaneously it was mentioned to justice retired justice bachawat by the bench that the force of an advocate which brings from during the course of his argument can only be done by way of on his legs so there are many more material aspects as uh, suggested by chairman sir so the open court hearing do have more effective impact in the justice delivery system and rest of the things this virtual hearing and all that those can be substituted by way of creating courts for recording evidence 5 to 10 matters evidence can be recorded separate hearings open hearings 5 to 10 matters can be taken in glass shield courts and for rest of the aspects written submissions and all that could be asked so social distancing all that the congestion in the court could uh, be could is, uh, is also required to be avoided and the entry of litigants shall not be permitted unless the situations are over because we are working for them we are fighting for justice for them and we want that justice speedy should be got done for the public or for the aggrieved so these are the various factors which we have Uh, given in writing by way of representation to the court to the respective authorities and also as i earlier said that now the challenge is there we have to adapt this situation we have to come forward with extra training for our fraternity people so that continuous this uh, education can be given to them and they could be more effective come in the coming time because this pandemic situation is not that virus which will come to an end at a certain point of time it may travel to years together so now as on day we have to adapt with this situations we have to bring a new normal for upcoming years and in upcoming years 2025 there should be a long series in respect of this e courts and all that so various suggestions are there and being the member of state bar council being the co chairman there we are also taking uh, this to decide that the advocates must be educated for this new technology to be adopted as a matter of their routine so these are my submissions which later on more on the basis of suggestions can be conveyed to the authorities and government one thing i want to convey more specifically that a special budget is required to be provided by the state government by the central government still they are not looking ki how this justice delivery system could be made more effective wifi internet connection those are required to be up to the mark 
without any failure special budget special budget for courts special protection for lawyers special provisions for lawyers who can deal with the situations who can have effective technology with them at the uh, available rates which may not be more uh, higher on the higher side so these things would make all this effective and a speedy justice system in the country thank you sanjay sir for your uh, comments and views i would now like to like uh, that participants please uh, write in their uh, questions in the meantime uh, we will uh, proceed with my question with uh, with manan sir that sir what can some uh, steps be taken like what can be the steps uh, to restrict the number of uh, people entering the court can there be one client one per advocate entering the court and how some vc software where the client participation is required in the uh, proceedings can something be uh, implemented on a basis in probably yes, national yes. capital itself I, I, that some system has to be actually found out so that uh, the presence in the court rooms could be uh, limited and works also uh, should not suffer therefore uh, a limited number of lawyers lim limited number of litigants uh, uh, those should be there as uh, uh, mr sanjay also uh, suggested some methods that glass panning and all that anyhow the, the only thing that is social distancing is to be maintained the use of masks social distancing all these would be useful and uh, practically so what happens in lower courts and high courts hundreds and hundreds cases are listed only 10 to 15 cases are taken up so that system uh, is to be uh, actually given a go by and mm -hmm. a practical approach has to be adopted how many cases are likely to be taken up what time this case will take will 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 actually consume so all these aspects are if kept in mind so if it is a bell matter the 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 uh, the performance of the particular judge has also to be taken care of his past record how many bell matters he he is able to dispose of within one hour or two hours so if all those things are critically analyzed then i think that things will be easier to actually uh, do there will be no problem two sir two sir uh, one of the questions our attendees have uh... supreme court supreme court the the hearings sometimes one hearing takes two three days two lawyers or or four lawyers so the hearing matters could be taken up these days yes sir yes so sir, one of the question on. yeah. yes tell yes, me one of the questions uh, that has uh, come to us is that uh, can bar council of india suggest to the law colleges like most law colleges have a library which is equipped with some computers as well for online databases so that uh, can be we can suggest that some colleges in delhi where the law students are coming from more of privileged background have basic knowledge of the computers but the colleges in the remote part of the country is law colleges that are spread all over the country where the students might not be having the knowledge the future lawyers are there so can uh, there be some military computer training of the law students so this is a question from our uh, it is it is it is there in the uh, their their courses of study only the computer education and the cyber law mm. that is to be taught to every student therefore okay. he is supposed to be uh, computer friendly the, unless there is a computer library no law college can be approved therefore no question that the the student of uh, today's student is not having the proper knowledge of uh, uh, this computer science but the 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 harsh truth is that hmm. the colleges in the remote areas smaller district headquarters they are hmm. because of five five problems so many problems the students uh, they are unable to get this benefit of computer knowledge so for them uh, we can think of something after this lockdown yes sir so one of the questions uh, that has quite number of uh, our viewers have been asking is that 
will artificial intelligence be a replacement for lawyers in the future or the probably the judges like in the foreign the more developed countries we can say there have been ideas mooted that art, artificial intelligence is deciding the cases or uh, or the settlement is being done by a computerized system so is, so this is a general query from couple of our lawyer friends and law students as well as like most most impractical idea and we cannot india india cannot approve sanjay sir what are your, your views on uh, use of artificial intelligence in the future and in the courts and as lawyers in some countries uh, in the developed countries there have been cases where the some lab, so what are your suggestions on ai and law like the present scenario here which uh, we are working in the court i agree with the chairman sir but in the given circumstances we should start little working on this aspect also but not solely rely on this agencies which uh, the people are asking for the suggestion that these may be introduced so there are various number of aspects which are to be seen while conducting the trials so at it can be divided into parts suppose the pleadings are required to be completed those can be taken up by using these new technologies but not solely to be rely on that okay so one of the uh, questions manan sir is uh, that is coming from our lawyer friends is that what uh, action is bar council taking to provide assistance to the bar council of india is taking to uh, to for the needy lawyers in the covid times during the lockdown i have seen couple of bar councils have taken an action and been provided some financial assistance today also supreme court heard a petition that some assistance should be provided by bar council of india bar council of india has a advocates welfare fund for every state bar council there uh, we have already issued a direction that uh, Uh, up to rupees one crore, the one state bar council can disburse among the needy advocates, and we have already issued uh, uh, instructions and we have made request to the state bar councils also to actually create some fund for the welfare of lawyers, particularly at this time. So we have already taken steps, and if the lockdown continues for longer, then uh, we will. Uh, as per the direction of the supreme court made today uh, will uh, create some fund for the lawyers and uh, we will have to depend on the capable and senior advocates only we cannot go and beg before uh, any other uh, authority or agency already bar council of india wrote a letter to honorable the prime minister and uh, all the chief ministers but up till now no, no response therefore we cannot be beggars uh, we mm. have our own dignity so we 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 will try to create a fund uh, and uh, give some donations from the able and uh, uh, senior advocates that that will do yes uh, the, uh, sir there is a the question that what can be the possibility of uh, development of alternate dispute resolution mechanisms like i said mediation in the corona times where the disputes are pending that the clients may be encouraged to settle them via mediation or settlement of those disputes outside the court so as to reduce the burden on the court during the covid times and encourage the out of court settlement of those disputes Hello. something the lawyers should be encouraged about in these current times no there there we agree if it is possible and feasible then uh, the process of mediation should go on because it is uh, not at all concerned with the court uh, proceedings so if the uh, if the infrastructure and uh, all the facilities are there then uh, it should go on yes sir the the out of court settlements the private mediation should be necessarily be adopted by the our lawyer friends as uh, yes, yes. now 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 for the uh, sake of uh, a uh, knowledge of all concerned i must say that from this year the, the next academic session uh, as per the advice of honorable the uh, chief justice of india uh, the uh, one subject of mediation is also in introduced by bar council of india for the law students mediation will also be taught 
that yes. will be one you of the yeah. subjects yes so that would be a great uh, great uh, initiative litigation, it could be a proper initiative and people will come with that education then they can decide it more effectively they can participate in mediation proceeding that is as good as an award which will be decided by them yes sir because uh, yeah purpose only we have done yes sir because many young adults are very much interested in doing uh, mediation and there has been some hindrance by some states like uh, which provide only that 10 year experience is required so it would be a great initiative if they have this knowledge in the law schools itself but that is why we have introduced sir uh, uh, now i would uh, we are moving towards the end of the uh, this webinar i would like to with uh, manan sir that what would be your final comment final message for the lawyers and the law students as well yeah. law schools what would be your message for them for the future in the See, future so far, of so far so far law students uh, are concerned uh, uh, actually my request and appeal to them will be that uh, during this lock uh, they should actually take benefit of this lockdown period there is uh, uh, actually ample free time available to them they should uh, continue their studies the law books and uh, also the manupatra the the uh, other online education is there they should go on with that they should they should continue they should take benefit of that so far lawyer community is concerned particularly the young lawyers the same thing applies with them also they they have ample time if they have the proper infrastructure they have the system they should uh, if they have the library they should devote most of their times to the library and their studies they should enhance their knowledge and uh, only then they'll be uh serviceable to the society and the litigants and sir uh, what would is what would be your your message for the law student community and uh, legal professionals uh in relation to the legal professionals as stated by chairman sir it is the approach we are staying at our home we should go through the case law by reading them and more appropriately is that each of the advocate they have their families now the upcoming children with them they are most they are more viable with these technologies so we should not feel shy we should ask our juniors to make them learn we could ask our children to make us more aware about this technology how it is to be used how it is to be formulated when that time appears before them in that connection in relation to the students i would like to say that various suggestions have been already given by various section of the society bar council of india has already directed as stated by the chairman sir that how the classes are to be taken up already all technology is being adopted by providing them material online material how to study by providing them home assignments by asking them questions in their cool time by asking that what projects they are preparing for which they have been provided with so in that connection already the universities are doing very well and in other around countries also up the uh, this similar technology is adopted and for making those students upgraded in their courses further they have dropped the exams pass fail graded system they have done so various factors are there which can be adopted here in india also by our respective universities and periodic inspections has been done by the bar council of india those could be speed, speed up in order to have more worse ki whether the knowledge is being imparting by the universities properly to the students or not thank you sanjay sir uh, mr sir one of the concerns is that what would be your message for the law school and the litigants because litigants are the per- people for whom the justice is getting delayed due to lockdown so what would be your message to them and to law schools as well the law schools we have already uh, issued directions that 
they should uh, proceed with the online education and uh, there cannot be any excuse for them because uh, uh, there has to be a computer library with all the institutions of law therefore they they cannot uh, take this excuse that they did not have the proper infrastructure no web uh, this uh, wifi or everything so uh, we have already issued directions and uh, we hope that they are, they they are, they are doing it so far the uh, national law schools and other big law schools uh, they have started it even without our direction but uh, the other law schools also started after our direction and uh, so far litigants litigant public they are they are the real sufferers those who are in jail in serious cases or even in some uh, smaller cases even after certain directions of the honorable apex court uh, they are rotting in jail they are not getting uh, a proper uh, legal assistance so litigants are really the, the sufferers but, but because of this corona and uh, pandemic everybody is suffering therefore they are, they, are, they are also also to suffer one of the concerns of uh, law student has shared is that some uh, se- semesters have uh, mandatory internship periods during the sur- summer time that and after uh, lockdown, that after lockdown will decide uh, some relaxation will have to give thank you so much so practical approach will have to be adopted uh, so now moving to the end of the webinar we would like to thank our panelists for joining us for this session it certainly has been an enriching experience to have uh, have uh, everyone this uh, to know how bar council of india and bar council of delhi has been taking steps towards betterment of lawyers as well as law students during the current lockdown due to corona virus we would now like to thank our technical partner ab education for facilitating this webinar i would like to thank managing editor of latestlaws.com real rt and her team for arranging this webinar thank you to our viewers who joined this webinar our next next item webinar is scheduled for sunday at 2:30 pm uh, on execution of decrees challenges and solutions for which we are highly privileged that honorable justice uh, jr meda judge delhi high court has agreed to join us along with sanjeev rati sir co chairman bar council of delhi the registration of details will be shared so- shortly on latest.com its facebook page and other social media handles till then uh, we would like to wrap up this session stay home stay safe and maintain social distancing thank you thank you so much manan sir thank you sanjay sir for joining this webinar it, it is a privilege to have you with us thanks a lot you are welcome always thank you sir